Hey there, what's happening everyone? Picture having the ability to reach all the latest movies, your beloved TV series, live pay-per-view events, and so much more without ever needing to jailbreak your Amazon Fire Stick. In this tutorial, I'm going to show exactly how to accomplish all of that. I'll walk you through each step you need to understand, enabling you to begin enjoying all your preferred entertainment at zero cost without needing to buy a pre-modified Fire Stick or jailbreak it yourself. If you're excited to discover how to do this, then just stay tuned because I'm about to reveal everything right now. First things first, navigate over to the Amazon App Store and look for a specific application. The easiest route is to go to your home screen and find the magnifying glass icon. From there, press down and then select the center button on your remote. This action will display a keyboard. Enter Downloader. You'll see it show up in the suggestions. Scroll down, highlight it, and select the center button. This will direct you straight to the distinctive orange app you're seeking. Let's go ahead and select it. Now you can obtain this app for your device. Just press the center button once and the download process will start. Allow it a few moments. It will configure itself. Once finished, it will show Launch Now. Do not launch it just yet. With Launch Now shown, press the Home button on your remote. Next, we need to reach your Amazon Fire Stick settings to modify a particular option. The most direct approach is to scroll all the way to the right on your home screen. A menu will then show at the bottom. Scroll down. We're searching for My Fire TV. If your device hasn't been updated, My Fire TV might be in a different location. For very old versions, it might even display My Device instead. Regardless of its title or position, that's the option we need to choose. Let's select it together. After selecting in, everyone's screen should look similar. My screen might have a different appearance because I have developer options. If yours doesn't display it, don't worry at all. I'll explain how to activate it. Just go up and select About. Then, with your Fire Stick or Fire TV highlighted, press the center button nine times. After doing this, a notification will appear stating, congratulations, you are now a developer. Once you see that message, select the back button and developer options will now be visible on this menu. All right, let's select into developer options together. The first item you'll notice is ADB debugging. Press the center button once, just like that, to enable it. A small confirmation dialog might show. Simply scroll down and select allow. Now select install unknown apps. You'll notice downloader listed. You might have other applications there as well. Scroll down to Downloader, then press the center button once to turn it on. If you're using an older Fire Stick model, this specific option might be missing. It could say Apps from Unknown Sources, and you'll only have the option to activate it or deactivate it. If you see that, simply turn it on. Now that we're all configured, press the Home button on your remote. Next, find the newly installed Downloader app. The simplest way to view all your applications is to scroll almost to the very end and select the icon showing three squares with a plus sign. This shows all your installed apps. The newest applications always show at the very bottom. Just scroll down through your apps and the very last one will be the most recent app you've added. Let's launch Downloader together. A small pop-up might show. Just select the center button to dismiss it. This application allows you to visit nearly any website. To accomplish this, select the center button two times, once, then twice, just like that. A keyboard will show, enabling you to type in the desired web address. Today, I'll direct us to a specialized website. I'll display the address on the screen as I type. Be sure to input it exactly as shown, or you might encounter an error. Take your time, pause the video if necessary. Once you've accurately typed the address, highlight Go and select the center button. You'll now notice a small red circle on my screen. You might, however, see a dialog box. If you see this box, move the red circle onto that black box and select the center button. If not, the download will begin automatically. You won't need to select anything. Let's wait for it to finish. As soon as the download completes, it will prompt you to set up the app. Simply scroll over and select Install. 
Once it's done setting up, scroll over and select the Done button. Selecting Done will bring us back to this screen. We're going to scroll over, select Delete, um, and one more time scroll over and select Delete. Okay everyone, that concludes our requirements from the Downloader app. Let's press the Home button. Next, we need to return to your Amazon Fire Stick settings and modify one more thing. Remember, the quickest way to reach your settings is to scroll all the way to the end. Then, once again, select the center button on My Fire TV or My Device. Following that, select where it says Developer Options, and one more time, go into Install Unknown Apps. Go ahead and select that. This time, you'll see Unlin has appeared on the list. If you have more apps, just scroll down until you highlight Unlin, and as before, press the center button once to ensure Unlin is activated. Now that everything is finished, press the home button one more time. We need to find that new Unlin app. Remember, simply scroll over and select the icon with three squares and a plus sign. All your apps are shown on this list, and the newest one is always at the very bottom. And right there is the new Unlin app we just added. Let's launch it together. The initial prompt asks you to input a new library. Select the center button on your remote two times, once, then twice, just like that. Another keyboard will appear, requesting the library code. Folks, I've developed my own special app store, providing access exclusively to my viewers and followers. I put in considerable effort to include only the finest, most recent applications in my store. All I ask in return for my hard work for keeping these apps current, for creating this video, and for responding to your questions, is that you select the subscribe button. That's your way of expressing thanks for providing all this for free. And a big thank you to all my viewers who are already following. Now that you're a follower, go ahead and enter this code. Be sure to take your time, it must be input exactly as written, or you might encounter an error. If I'm moving too quickly, just pause the video. Once you've correctly input that code, select Next and allow it a moment to load. Everyone, welcome to my exclusive app store. I filled it with 80 incredible applications for free movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, and much more. Many ask about my favorites. My top recommendations for cutting the cord are conveniently positioned here in the welcome message. Additionally, a frequent question is why a VPN is essential when using these apps. I've included a brief message here, so please take a moment to read all the information on the welcome screen. After you've finished reading everything, select the center button on your remote three times. This action will organize my store for you. Scroll up and down to browse different groups or left and right for individual apps. Today, I'll showcase a few apps, demonstrate how the store works, explain how to add apps, and guide you on how to begin enjoying your free entertainment. Now, scroll all the way down through the categories until you discover category number 14, Awesome YouTube Examples. The first app I want to download here is IP Vanish VPN. It's my top suggestion for ensuring everyone's safety and privacy while utilizing all these fantastic applications. Some individuals experience difficulty downloading or using apps because their internet provider restricts them. To download IP Vanish VPN, highlight it, then select Download. Alternatively, you can return to the Fire Stick home screen, locate the magnifier icon, scroll down, select the search bar, and when the keyboard appears, type IP Vanish. You'll see it in Suggestions, highlight and select the center button. On this page, choose the app from the list, and in this menu, select the center button to initiate the installation process. Once installed, select the center button to launch the app. Now you can sign in. Don't have an account yet? Well then, I'll make it extremely simple for you to obtain one, so you can browse without any worries and unlock all those amazing apps. First, grab your phone or computer and open your internet browser. Visit the website shown on the screen now. You can also point your camera at the QR code in the corner to navigate directly there. I'll also include the website link in the description and comments below. Next, choose your preferred plan. You can even select just one month to try it out and witness the difference for yourself. After you've obtained it, they'll send an email containing your secret username and password. Once you have that, 
your Fire Stick will be safe and secure. Now sign into the IPVanish app and select Connect. I also want to show you some settings. Select the gear icon within the IPVanish app. A menu will show. I've highlighted Connect on Android Startup. If I select the Sender button and enable this, you won't have to worry about manually turning on your VPN every time you power up your device. The VPN will connect automatically, ensuring your movie viewing isn't interrupted by having to check if it's on. It will handle it for you. Okay, so now that we're completely protected, let's start obtaining some of these fantastic applications. Press the home button and return to your apps. And once again, launch the Unlin application, then navigate back to the same category. Now folks, I wanna show you the next four apps you should download to access free movies, TV shows, sports, and live TV. You'll discover four more apps that we can install in this category. It's also extremely helpful to carefully read the descriptions so you fully understand what each app is, what it does, and what actions you might need to take. Here's the first one. You'll notice an app name that provides live TV, pay-per-view, and adult content. Just select it, then select Download, and we'll simply wait for it to reach 100%. This might take a moment or two, depending on your internet connection and the file size. Afterward, select Install App. Scroll over and select Install. Allow it a moment. It will take us right back into the store so we can obtain more apps. Then you'll find an app name that gives you all the sports content. Just highlight it and select Download. We'll wait for this to reach 100%. Again, wait a few seconds for it to complete. As soon as you see the small box appear, select Install App. Scroll over and select Install. Next up, you'll discover an app name that delivers all the movies and all the TV shows. Just highlight it and select Download. We'll wait for this to reach 100%. I know the waiting can sometimes feel lengthy, but it's truly worth it. As soon as you see the small box appear, select Install App. Scroll over and select Install. Now, some apps within my store require a separate player to work correctly. The app you just installed for movies and TV shows is one of those. You'll actually notice in its title that it mentions the necessity of this other player app. It might seem a little confusing now, but when you read its description here, or when you're actively using the apps, you'll see it and everything will make complete sense. So let's download that app player now you'll discover an app name that corresponds to the required player. Select Download, and again, we'll wait for it to reach 100%. This is the last time waiting, I promise. And as soon as the small box appears, select Install App, scroll over, and select Install. Folks, it's that simple. We've just installed four incredible applications. There are 80 in my store, so please don't restrict yourself to the few examples I demonstrated in today's video. My absolute favorite apps can be found in category number one, Top Apps. Explore the store and download as many applications as you wish to try. They are all completely free, so feel free to download every single one if they fit on your device. But now that you've downloaded everything you desire, let's press the home button because once again, I wanna find all those apps we just put on. And if you recall from earlier in the video, all you need to do is select that icon with three squares and a plus sign. It shows all your apps and all the newest ones appear at the very bottom. So what I want you to do is highlight one of those new apps, then select the three lines button, also known as the menu button, to the right of your home button on your remote. When you do, a menu will slide down. Select where it says Move to Front. You'll observe the app moving from the bottom to the top. I want to demonstrate the benefit of moving apps to the top for your device. So, select the Home button here. From the home screen, where you always begin, you'll have effortless access to those apps right here. You won't need to search for them. Now folks, I know that we've downloaded some amazing apps that give us free movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, and pay-per-view content. Before you ever launch any of those applications, I always strongly recommend that you turn on your VPN first. Folks, I simply want to express my genuine gratitude to all my followers. Your support truly means a great deal and helps me tremendously. 
I cannot thank you enough for taking time out of your day to help me reach a goal. I eagerly await your comments and look forward to seeing you very soon in the next video.